जय श्री कृष्ण एंड आई आई हैव ऑलवेज हर्ड ऑफ द यम्स एंड द नियम्स एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू दीज आर द कमांडमेंट्स इन योगा एंड बट आई नेवर गिव दम आई मीन दैट मच इम्पोर्टेंस बिकॉज basically it's non violence non lying non stealing non sensuality or brahmacharya non greed or non attachment now i just told myself i don't really lie i'm not really violent i don't steal so i guess i shouldn't pay much attention to it but i when i heard about it in the raja yoga classes raja yoga classes are connected to the yogaanand swami yogaanand of the autobiography of uh, yogi fame because uh, i have been wanting to learn the kriya yoga so as i've been going to these classes and when they explained it i just was really quite mind boggled about them so i'm going to tell you about these yams these don't do us and then if you don't do the benefits that you derive from it and i thought that was quite marvelous so what is non violence and as we say i am not violent but it's actually to rid yourself of doing harm how often i mean we think you no know, we think of those who have harmed us but if you rid yourself of doing harm then you know what is the benefit the my the benefit is that wild animals and criminals will become tame in your presence and we have heard stories we have heard how buddha once worked in the jungle and there was this uh, angulimal he was known as angulimal because he would uh, kill people and then collect their fingers and made a garland out of them and wear it proudly and they all told buddha don't go there there is this horrible criminal and yet in the he didn't harm him in fact he went on to become his disciple buddha's disciple and of course we hear about saint francis of assisi who used to speak to animals and lions and we hear of yogis in front of whom lions tame and that is because they have no violence in their heart whatsoever not even um an iota of it that sometimes they maybe want to uh, harm those who have harmed him okay now about the second the second is non lying no this non lying is truth in thought word and action and you can attain fruits of action without acting that means that just the uh, good things will just come in front of you but what i have heard also uh, otherwise is that if you li- live by the truth then your vani becomes satya in the sense that's why we go to these saints who bless us and then we seek their blessings because when they bless us we just know that it will happen and that is if you live by the truth in thought word and action what is third not stealing now we say we don't steal but by not even desiring what others have because sometimes when you see something with something you say oh i wish i could have it so even that is kind of stealing hoping and wishing that you had what they had maybe and then it there was a little um, prayer and said in med- meditation affirm what comes of itself let it come in my mind is whatever is meant to come to you will come to you no matter what because of your karmas because of the way you behave now fourth non sensuality or brahmacharya now most people think it means to be celibate but here it says practice moderation and mental detachment from the senses brahma acharya the way brahma would behave and it is by perfectly preserving one's inner energy and directing it upwards towards the brain one will attain not only great vigor but i probably think that 
probably I mean I have I don't know but they say that that same the yogis actually take that energy by being celibate and uh, by practicing everything in moderation which they direct it up towards the sahasra that is the top chakra in our brain and that kind of makes you achieve a lot of uh, riddhi siddhis as we call them and they are gifts things that people believe are miracles now the fifth one fifth one is non-greed non-greed or aparigraha i think it's called uh, non-greed don't desire more than you have so in other words be content if you're just uh, happy with what you possess that perfect meditation will not happen unless until and unless one has still the desires of one heart and if you perfect non attachment then that non attachment leads to overcoming the temporary identification with the body and what is what you what is it that you achieve by that then you can remember your past lives so yes uh, thanks uh, thanks to the um, raja yoga and uh, i believe this has been inspired by uh, the yogananth which they call by swami yogananth who is the uh, i mean who wrote the autobiography of a yogi and it took the world by storm if you haven't read it yet i strongly suggest you read it so until next time you take care and god bless